What's up my beautiful people? Welcome to my DIY and life channel! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video today. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you like it and if you do hit that like button you know you know what to do right? Alright so I have been craving macaroni salad so bad I don't know why and so I went and actually just bought like store-bought macaroni salad and when I ate it it was just not not hitting the spot you know what I mean and I think because I was craving my mama's homemade macaroni salad which I haven't had in so long but oh my goodness I love homemade macaroni salad whoever makes it just as long as it's like homemade and another thing is with macaroni salad you could put so many things in there um, all different types of vegetables there is one thing I did forget I usually put in mine is frozen peas and I did forget that and also in my um, dressing I forgot Dijon mustard and I don't even have regular mustard right now so um, that's the only thing I did forget in my recipe I'm going to be showing you guys today um, so what I have I already um, cooked my noodles I got a pound of elbow macaroni I just boiled it in some salted water I also put a teaspoon or um, just a capful of uh, vegetable oil just so you know the noodles didn't stick and then I drained them rinsed them in cold water and I already had that set off to the side ready to go and um, I'm just going to chop up all my vegetables make my uh, dressing for it and that is about it you guys so I wanted to show you everything I'm going to be putting in it I will leave um, all the ingredients and how much I put in it in the description so you know if you guys want to know exactly how I do it which I will explain but um, it'll be in the description okay so <laughs> um, but I'm going to be using a purple onion or red onion and then I'm going to be using sweet relish um, of course mayo then oh, oh hold up short arms i got these beautiful tomatoes um i was going to keep them full but i am going to be cutting them in half um usually i did here um if you keep them full it's um less likely for your macaroni salad to get all soggy but I don't think it mine gets really soggy I'm going to be cutting mine up so and then um, I use a dice up sharp cheddar cheese sweet mini peppers I love these things and I usually actually put bell pepper in my macaroni salad but I'm going to be using these because they are so good and I bet they'll taste really good in it and then I have white distilled vinegar um you can use if you do want your um, want it sweeter you can use apple cider vinegar but i'm going to be using this because i do put sugar in mine so that is about it you guys um and like i said i did forget my peas and then for my dressing i don't have any type of mustard so but it will still taste really good uh so you guys ready to watch me make this yummy macaroni salad i cannot wait literally i'm making actually i got a lot and i'm the only one in my family that likes it Devin might try and eat a little bit of it but majority of what's gonna be eaten is gonna be me <laughs> so I got a lot so um, I might be having macaroni salad um, for dinner for about a week that's how much I got I don't know why I got so much whatever it's just I actually have a recipe and I I wrote everything down the first time I made it so I just 
I went with it. If I should have just um, split the recipe in half, you know, just made half of what this makes, this will actually feed quite a bit of people. It would be actually perfect for like Thanksgiving dinner or any type of like barbecue. Um, so anyways, enough talking and let's get started. I'm just going to cut up all my stuff right now and then I will make our dressing and put it all together and try it out for you guys. So thank you again for clicking on my video and let's get started you guys. Oh yeah you guys one other thing I wanted to show you. Look at this. I got this at the Dollar General for only $2.59 you guys. It comes with your own cutting knife and a cutting board and I needed a new cutting board so I got actual knives with it for only $2.59 too so isn't that a good deal and it's freaking cute so we're gonna try it out and hopefully it works good for the price but we'll see so I'm really excited about that and I just wanted to show you guys <laughs> all right everyone so excuse the angle right now i am sitting down just because i have more room at my big table and it's kind of short so i need to sit down or i will kill my back if i lean over for so long so i'm going to be sitting down and chopping up all my stuff so like you guys mind anyways right so i'm going to be starting with the sweet peppers i'm so excited to try this I've actually never tried um, these in my macaroni salad before, but I have tried uh, bell peppers, which are so good. Okay, I think I'm going to do four, four of them. I think that will be good for now. If I need more... I will chop up some more, but I think right now this is good enough. So what I'm going to do is just those, just going to cut it in half. Make sure you guys can see. Oh wow, these knives work really good. Okay, and then I'm just going to get out all these seeds. Don't want those in it. There we go. I just scooped it out with the spoon. And I cut the ends off. Oops, wrong knife. Okay, that one's good. Cut the end off to this. I'm going to just scrape that little membrane out. I don't want that in there. See? All good and clean. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just cut these in strips. Cut this way. And then I cut it this way. Just get little cute side, cute size cubes, you guys. You could chop them up, you know, any size you like, but I like mine pretty small. See? Perfect little size peppers. Ooh, that one just squirted in my eye. <laughs> hmm. Oh, these smell so good, you guys. Alright, so like I said, um, so many people put all sorts of stuff in their macaroni salad. And I want to know what you guys like in yours. Um, like I said, I usually also put peas inside of mine. I get frozen peas. A lot of people, in fact, I've never seen someone out of all the cooking videos I've ever watched of people make macaroni salad, they always put uh, uh, 
goodness celery in it <laughs> gosh sorry guys i cannot think right now but um everyone always puts celery in their macaroni salad which i don't mind you guys it's not like i won't eat it but i would rather not have celery in it you know i'm not that big of a celery fan but a lot of people like it so but today I am not going to be putting any in mine. So, this is all I'm going to be doing right now. I'm going to quickly cut up the rest of these and then um, finish cutting everything up. All right, all you beautiful viewers. So these are, or this is my macaroni noodles, just the regular elbow macaroni. Um, you guys could use whatever. I have tried the um, bow tie um, noodles before and those are really good as well. So, but I like just the regular elbow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my green, or my green peppers, my sweet peppers look at that you guys look at that color it just makes the salad so pretty and also tastes amazing oh my goodness i can't wait but i think i might cut up a little more um just because i have so many noodles but we'll see once i stir it all up i will um just look at it and just see if i need more or not so let's go and chop up our onions now all right everyone now i'm going to cut up my red onion i think i'm going to use you know what i love onions so i think i'm going to use this whole thing so let's go ahead and chop this up All right, everyone, now time to add in our onions. I don't know if I said it before, but this was a pound of the elbow macaroni, if you guys want to know. But also, everything will be listed in my description box if you guys want to know. So, we're going to go ahead and add in our onions now. It's looking so good you guys okay so now we just need to cut up our tomatoes and cheese and it is almost ready okay now time for our beautiful cherry tomatoes you guys I love these things I could just eat them straight out the container and they're just so beautiful look at all the colors I'm gonna use like every single color so i'm gonna use i don't know maybe half of this container you guys all right everyone now time for our beautiful tomatoes oh yes you guys look at that so far isn't that looking delicious all right so now just time to cut up our cheese um some people use shredded but i like cuban my cheese so i just get the block and cut it into small little cubes but that is it everyone just going to cut up my cheese and then i will show you how i make my dressing okay you guys so I lied this knife was horrible at cutting up those tomatoes it just was squishing them and it was really annoying I should have just broke out my good knife but not really a great knife but like I said it's kind of what I get for the price so but still not too bad it cut up my sweet peppers really good but other than that um, pretty crappy knife <laughs> 
all right all you beautiful people so here's my cheese i'm going to be using half of my block and it is sharp cheddar cheese i love sharp cheddar cheese and my macaroni salad but you guys could use whatever you like again also you could use just the shredded cheese as well so i'm just going to be cutting this into cubes and that is everything for my macaroni salad and then it's just um time to make the dressing after this so bear with me guys we are almost to the end to taste this amazing macaroni salad all right everyone so now my cheese is all cut up um half of that block was plenty um some of my cubes did come out a little big so i just went through and chopped them up to the size that i like them at but that is it everyone so just put in your cheese and then it's time to show you how i make this amazing yummy dressing for this oh it smells so good already but look at that you guys so the one thing i am missing is my peas which i'm a little sad but it's okay it's still gonna taste really great so that is it you guys i might put a little more peppers in it again but we should see so what i do now is i'm just going to actually stir it all up and maybe that will give me a better um look at what we might need i think actually this is looking really good i think i might have enough things in there i don't know what you guys think what would you put out what else would you guys put in let me know in the comments also sorry for the loud background noise my um hubby lubby is playing his game with his friends so He's hollering a hootin', so you guys probably hear him. But anyways, okay, actually, you know what? That looks so amazing, you guys. Oh, yes, so now it's time to make our dressing for it, and I will show you here in just a minute. Okay, everyone, now time for our yummy, yummy dressing. So what I have here is one cup of mayo just regular mayo i've actually seen people use um Mar miracle whip which i've never tried before it would probably be good but i'm not that big of a miracle whip type of person uh devin is he would actually rather have miracle whip instead of mayonnaise like on sandwiches and stuff which is good but I love my mayonnaise so it's just one cup of that you guys and then um, I would if I had it I would put in one tablespoon of Dijon mustard which makes it really really good but I don't have that so unfortunately I'm not gonna be using it Duh. okay now after you put in your cup of mayo I use two tablespoons of sweet relish um, I don't have my tablespoon. I actually lost it. You know, um, my daughter likes to play with my cooking utensils a lot and they just magically disappear. You guys know how that is if you have kids, right? <laughs> but anyway, so I'm just gonna be kind of eyeballing it using a spoon. So I'm going to put in again, two tablespoons of this sweet relish. Okay, now I'm going to be putting in three tablespoons of sugar. Just give me a second, I have to go grab it. All right, you guys, so now you need three tablespoons of sugar. Again, I'm just eyeballing it, so. About one, two, <laughs> three. Okay, and now we need about one fourth cup of just, of, um, goodness, I cannot talk, sorry guys. So we just need one fourth cup of distilled white vinegar. 
Um, you guys can use apple cider vinegar, like I said, if you want um, your dressing sweeter, but I use just the regular white just because I put sugar in mine already. So again, I don't have one fourth cup, so I have a half cup. I'm going to be just eyeballing it. Okay, that's about good. Oh yeah, you guys, don't forget to add salt and pepper. That is very important. So I'm just going to be adding a little bit. I'm not really measuring, just eyeballing it to my likings. The salt. And that is it for the dressing, you guys. Now just stir it up all nice. And you always make sure you taste it before you put it in, just in case you know you need more pepper or salt or even more vinegar or relish, you know. Y'all should know that, right? <laughs> oh yes, this is already looking so tasty, you guys. Alright, and that is done. So now time to mix it all together, you guys. Alright, everyone, time to add in this yummy dressing that we just made. Doesn't that look good, you guys? All right, time to stir this bad boy up. That is about it to my macaroni salad, you guys. Let me know what else you would have added in here. Doesn't this look so good? That is it. Look at that, you guys. Doesn't that look so good? So good. Here, you want some? Take a bite. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Alright, you guys. So, this video is about done. I'm going to taste test it for you. And that is it. Lacey's homemade macaroni salad. Come and get you some. Hey, guys. We're back. I'm going to actually try it for you guys. Um so excited it looks so good i did actually let it sit in the fridge for about an hour just to get it you know nice and chilled so try to get everything in this bite it's a big old bite here it goes I'm so glad I made this. <laughs> it's so good, you guys. This is what I was craving. Actual homemade macaroni salad. Mm, it was so delicious, you guys. You've got to try it. Mm. With the tomatoes and the peppers, the sweet peppers, such a good idea. Bell peppers are good in it too, but man, those sweet peppers just make it taste so good. And then the cheese. Mm. Speechless. That's all I gotta say. Mm. So good. <laughs> oh, and I made a lot of it. A lot. So I'm actually literally like not even lying that's probably gonna be my dinner for like the next week that's how much i made but it would be perfect for like a barbecue or something or even hey i might even make that for thanksgiving who knows so 
thank you guys so much for hanging out with me um watch my macaroni salad video i really enjoy making cooking cooking videos for you guys so if you guys like it um don't forget i do have a playlist of just me cooking but anyways you guys i'm gonna go ahead and finish this and go hang out with Devin and enjoy the rest of my night while the kids are asleep so thank you guys so much and as always i'll catch y'all on my next video Mwah!